Hello everyone, Liliana from Vanilla and Canela here. Welcome back to my channel and to another video. Today is all about shopping. So I want to share with you the shopping I've done this week. I've got a haul from Aldi, another one, smaller haul from Pan Stretcher and a small haul from B&M. So let's start with the Aldi haul. So we're going to start as usual with the fridge and freezer. I got some of this ham. I've never tried this. It looks very much just like any ham, but just really big. Some chicken drumsticks. I also saw these rainbow carrots. I thought that looked really, really good. I think roasted, they'll be delicious. Some tortellini. That's not actually in the fridge, but you know. Mozzarella sticks. Also got these steak and ale pie pies. Steak and ale pies are actually my very favourite of the big array of pies that the British do. Steak and ale. Also got these mini Magnum rip-offs kind of thing, the Aldi own brand. Got two of these Greek yogurt with honey. Love that. Duck spring rolls. Those are 99p. I've bought them before. They're really, really good. Baked potatoes. And also some garlic and herb king prawns. These are frozen Atlantic cod fillets. There's also some Chinese pork and pancakes. I know that Paul's going to love that. Mm -hmm. Some chips. Two ready meals. I got two kormas. These were one seventy nine, I think, which is a really good price. And I got some naan bread somewhere. Um, I also got gammon joint, some ground ginger, vegetable stock pots, salted butter. Sorry, some of this stuff is not fridge and freezer, it's just mixed in. These are not the fridge. Um, there's also some sweet barbecue ribs, some savoury eggs, and two things of eggs because we completely run out. There's some more corn, Emmental. And then I think for the fridge and freezer, that's it. Let me put all of that stuff away and I'll come back. Okay, let's carry on. I showed you those bits. They don't go in the fridge or freezer. I have two apples. These are a specific type of apple, which I can't remember the name at the moment, but they're for a recipe. Some of these Groovy Biscuits for Alex. Got some of those for Paul and I, some pears. Also got some mixed spice. I need some of that for recipes. Mixed peel. Can you guess what I'm making yet? Yeah. Um, there's two things of eggs. Did I show you that already? I think I did. I got some poached pear and spiced rhubarb cider for a recipe. I also thought I would try the... Uh, CC no BB cream it only has SPF 15 but I thought let me give it a try some brown sugar for a recipe as well I bought some of this vanilla extract I don't think it's going to be very good but you know also some instant coffee this is for Paul to take to work Non breads, as you saw, I got some um, korma earlier. Some of these for Paul. Then the chocolate bars, I've got the rip off of Snickers and Twigs. And then I got some of this. Um, Looks pretty good. I never buy this kind of stuff, but I wanted to have like super easy things that I can make in a pinch you know really quickly so i thought i'll give this a try for 39p got some of this mawams some a wafer biscuits amazon mix gummies hot dogs hazelnuts some british apples another stock cube this one is chicken i also got this power Force multi surface polish dust and protect, and it works on wood, metal, plastic, and glass. I have never seen, or I did, let's put it this way I didn't know such thing existed that could work on wood and glass. 
So I'm excited to give that a try. I got, oh, I don't know what that was. I got some little rompers for Oscar, of course. They looked really, really good. cool. It's a three part. God, it's like I can't talk. It's a three pack of sleep suits, should I say. Uh, six to nine months, which he's about to fit into. So he is, his little um, vests are actually already six to nine months, but he's got like long body, hence the vest, but short legs. So these will still be slightly too big, too long on the legs. But I thought the patterns quite sweet, plain and beautiful. $6.99, what a bargain. I also got some granola, really nutty granola. I thought I would try their shaver. This one comes with a shaver. What do I call this? Uh, blade? Razor, sorry. Uh, it comes with one blade and then you can buy the replacement. So I thought I'll try it. If it's good, I'll get some blades. Hand wash. I also got some of their non-bio laundry liquid. And then on this side... I got some of this to add to my uh, granola. Looked really good. Some mixed fruit over there for a recipe. Bread, some brioche rolls. Got these little chocolate Christmas tree decorations. They are not gonna make it to the tree whatsoever. Paul's favorite chocolate is like hollow chocolate. I got some milk chocolate chip brioche. I don't know why I said milk, brioche, chocolate chip, two things of um, chips, crisps, and check this out, you guys, Maltese truffles. I have never seen those before. Three forty nine they were. So Paul and I are very happy, very keen to try that. I also saw this uh, moisture absorber. You guys know that we've been having a bit of trouble with moisture on the window, so I thought I'd give that a try. It was $7.99. When I looked on Amazon, it was like £20. So I thought I'd give that a try. Two, th three things of Frosties, nappies. I've gone up to size four. Um, he's just... Um, He's about to go, sorry, he's about to go into these. He was 17 pounds a couple of weeks ago. So as you can see, 80 pounds. He's quite chunky, so I think he, these will be good. And because he's sleeping more in the night, he needs something that absorbs really good. That was it. Okay, and now I'm gonna show you what I got in Pound Stretcher. It was only three things. The first thing was this rust. These like toasted bread things. Alex likes these and I thought, oh, I've never seen them in there. So I got a packet of those. I also picked up one of these masks. This is an uh, antioxidant green tea essence mask. I thought that looked quite good. And finally, the thing that I really thought was quite good was this multi-purpose storage caddy this was 249 you guys and i'm going to use it in the bathroom to sort of put our toothbrushes and toothpaste and anything like that because we sorry i'm just opening it this will have to go on the windowsill if you can't remember my bathroom window is quite high so um there's not a lot of room and I think this could be it. Paul's probably going to freak out because I'm constantly changing the um, the situation with the toothbrushes. So we'll see what he thinks of that. Um, by the way, I mean freak out. He's not really going to freak out, but Paul does not like change. So anyway, that was it from Pound Stretcher. Let me show you B&M. So I picked up these three gift bags, one ninety nine for three. So you get one like that, the other one is like that, and then the middle one says ho, 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 like that. I thought that would be quite good for the teacher's gifts, which I have not bought yet, but I thought that was quite sweet. I also picked up two bags 
of bird seed. The birds are loving this. Paul requested that I get some more. Those are a pound each. I'm going to need some of these for a recipe for my 12 days of Christmas recipe. So I'm, I think I'm going to call it 12 sweet recipes for Christmas. And I'm going to need some of these gums. Let me know in the comments if you know what I'm going to make with those. Anyway, so I bought two packets of those actually. I thought this and I thought Alex is going to love this as a stocking filler. It's a telescopic torch for three pounds and let me see oh and look and it's got a little clip and it's magnetic as well um yeah, i don't know about you but if you've got a kid look. whoa he's so gonna love that um i don't know about you but my kid loves messing around with torches so i thought that was quite good picked up another you know just to add to my stock of uh, teething powders some condensed milk I need that for a re another recipe that I'm making and it was actually the last one they had in the whole shop can you believe it and it wasn't particularly cheap cheap it was 129 I also got some coffee mate for Paul to take to work to add to his coffee and of course some crumpets you guys know we love crumpets over here oh, is this all is so and then guys alex has a girlfriend and um, he wants to get her some a christmas present so here's what i've got for her so far i saw this and i thought it was so so cute Got like these little letters um sort of toweling material they only had one more of these and they then had one in pink that said dreamer but i really like that bu and it was three pounds and then to put inside got these fun erasers and some scented markers i mean i grew up with scented markers who does not like scented markers? So yeah, that is it. I got all of those to put in there and I'll probably get her something else as well. But yeah, Alex is in love, like proper head over heels. Talk about nothing else, no one else but his girlfriend. So yeah, that's it. I'm gonna leave it just there for this video. I hope you have enjoyed it. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.